Excellencies, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to express my appreciation to the World Tourism Forum Institute and Indonesian Tourism Forum Forum's efforts in this multi-stakeholder dialogue to reboot tourism economy post-pandemic. Together, we can drive the tourism industry to overcome challenges and emerge stronger, more sustainable, and more resilient than ever. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the COVID-19 pandemic has triggered an unprecedented crisis in the global economy as the result of alarming level of new variant virus spread government all over the world have reintroduced lockdown measures and restricted travel to curb the various virus transmission intense shock and unbearable financial burden have been crippled the sector the recent research by Angtat has shown that the global economy could lose over 4 trillion U US in tourism and its ripple effect on the sector linked to tourism due to the pandemic. The impasse in the tourism industry also caused 5.5% a rise in unemployment and unskilled labor on average affecting the livelihood of millions of the people. Further, the United Nations World Tourism Organization estimated that international tourist arrival declined by about 1 billion or 74% in 2020. This number further dropped to 88% in the first quarter of 2021. Southeast Asia was one of the most effective regions. Meanwhile, the ASEAN tourism industry also suffered great loss. In 2020, the tourism sector in ASEAN country witnessed a sharp decline of 81.8% in terms of international arrival, along with a significant loss of 75.8% in tourism receipt. In the first quarter of 2021, most ASEAN member states reported a further decline in international arrival and tourism receipt by more than 90%. Before the pandemic, tourism is a major engine of economic growth in most ASEAN member states as it represents nearly 15% of GDP and 14% of employment of ASEAN community. In some countries, such as Cambodia, the Philippines and Thailand, tourism industry is the largest contributor in terms of GDP. Employment and export revenue, tourism has been a vehicle for integration, empowerment and generating income for many female workers, rural communities, indigenous people and unskilled laborers. The economic and social impact of the pandemic has been so devastated and unbearable. For that reason, reviving ASEAN tourism sector is imperative in the long-term ASEAN recovery strategy. The ASEAN Comprehensive Recovery Framework adopted by ASEAN leaders in November 2020 has prioritized tourism as a major breakthrough for recovery. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, there is no doubt that the pandemic has profoundly changed the landscape and dynamic of the sector. While return to pre-pandemic level will take years, especially for the full resumption of international travels and tourism industry would never be the same as it was before. High st higher standards of safety and hygiene for customers, communities, employers employees, workers, working in the industry will be indispensable. Quality services shall be prioritized over quantity and cheap services. Sustainability, gender equality, community and social value and inclusiveness shall no longer be aspirational objective, but essential element which are integrated in core business and governance models of the industry. In the earliest days of the pandemic, ASEAN response were 
feature in imminence measure one to mitigate the impact of COVID-19 to business and travelers second to instill trust and confidence among business and consumer third to help business survive and adapt to a new normal and fourth to strictly monitor the situation and deliver accurate and timely travel advisory to tourists in the region. The post-pandemic 19 recovery plan for ASEAN tourism is one of the key deliverables of ASEAN in 2021. It provides a harmonized approach for ASEAN member states to safely open, reopen the industry towards a more sustainable, resilient and inclusive ASEAN tourism. The recovery plan articulated ASEAN responses through three phases in stages of recovery. First, in the reopening phase, health considerations take priority in the decision-making process. Although the tourism sector may start operating again, but in a very limited way, vigilant measures are maintained at all tourism destination. In, the, in this reopening phase, the foundations of the sustainable green tourism will be laid while promote protecting life and livelihoods of most vulnerable groups of dependent people and communities in the industry. Second, the recovery phase is likely to commence no sooner than 2022 and last for at least two or three years to provide sufficient time and resources to re-energize stakeholders, including business community and employees in the tourism sector. The focus is placed on various policies to support the tourism sector to adapt the new norm, to reach out to a new source market and to consolidate the foundation of sustainability and inclusivity as initially set up in the reopening phase. Third, the resilient phase will shift the focus of promoting coverage convergence with the longer term ASEAN shared vision and regional resilience and regeneration while being cognizant of the new trends and emerging challenges. To add recovery, ASEAN identified priority area to explore in taking the lead on recovery. Digital technology and innovative solution remains key to reinventing tourism services in order to adapt to the new normal and bring new experience to tourists in the region. Common health protocol continue to play a vital role to promote safe destination and ensure resilience. Fostering sustainability and green growth is an imperative mission when ASEAN shift its policy focus towards a resilient, competitive, resource efficient, inclusive and carbon neutral tourism sector. Appropriate training and financial support mechanisms are to ensure the sector and labour force remain competitive and resilient as it continues to recover the recovery journey while preparing for future crises and establishing an integrated and whole of community approach in linking tourism sector to sectoral policies such as an economic such as economic transport trade SME employment health and culture to facilitate international travelers and create enabling business environment these five priority areas will give us greater confidence to gradually resume travel while ensuring that health and safety of our travellers remains our top priorities. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, with vaccination program picking up pace globally, there is a sense of optimism that international travel can and will gradually return. Nevertheless, the recovery trajectory is not going to be a linear. To ensure the successful, successful implementation of this recovery plan, intensifying 
collaborative effort among public and public, cross-sect national and regional partnership is important. The COVID-19 crisis is a watershed moment to realign the efforts of sustaining livelihood depends on tourism to the sustainable development goal to ensure a more resilient, inclusive, carbon neutral and resource efficient future. In ASEAN, we are able to, we are able and ready to do things differently and progressively. We will position ourselves at the forefront of change to accelerate tourism recovery and work together to build sustainable tourism in the region. Thank you for this opportunity to join you today.